Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'll be doing an unboxing and a full review of this awesome Jetson Atlas 14 inch fat tire e-bike right after this. If you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for Amazon Fire devices and product reviews then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, so this is the new Jetson Atlas e-bike. This is a portable e-bike. This has 14 inch tires. And yes, these are three inches wide. Uh, this is this is gonna be a review after, I've, I've had this e-bike for about two and a half to three months now. And honestly, I, I love this unit. It's so portable. It fits in my car. I'll show you guys here, here in a minute how nice it folds. But let's first talk about features. This has, uh, this bike weighs about 48 and a half pounds according to the manual i'll leave the measurements on the screen on the screen and the description as well at the end for you it comes with a nice comfortable cushioned seat and it does have springs dual springs in the back it's got a bright brake light and it has a bright uh, led headlight as well <clears throat> these let's go ahead and start from the top it's got your regular bike uh, brakes this is the front brake and this is the back brake right here and these this bike does come with disc brakes and they work pretty good the front and the back all right and this is back here you can see that this comes with a 350 watt rear hub right on the back which works very good uh, the pedals are these do fold in half for easier storage just like that this feature comes very handy they both pedals they fold in half uh, this is the battery right here and this is uh, this is the charging port right here and let me show you what kind of charger this comes with and what kind of tools as well so this is the 1.5 original jets jetson jar charger excuse me that comes with uh, so the battery charge the bike charges about 70 to 80 watts and it comes with a multi tool set you, you get a bunch of allen wrenches and three sockets just in case you want to exchange the seat or one out or just in case you want to uh, tighten a few things so as i was saying the bike does come pre-assembled for you all you have to do is uh, install the seat and lift this uh, install this uh, handlebar right here and this handlebar does fold all the way down I'll show you guys here in a minute but as I've seen here on top on the steering wheel this is your power button right here this is your your average bell that you get you know on a lot of the e-bikes and since this is a beginner uh, this is a beginner friendly e-bike and this is your power status I'm not sure if you guys can see this is pretty sunny out here today but four dots means that this is your battery indicator so four dots would mean this is a fully charged battery and this button right here if you hold down for about eight to ten seconds the this this turns on your headlight and your brake light and speaking of the brake light and actually this button at the same time if you press and hold while you're riding this does have a built-in cruise control which is, which is a nice feature you just press and hold it for about five to six seconds and that turns on the cruise control feature which is very nice and speaking of the brake light once you step on the brake this has a bright led brake light and one, when you step on the brake it does blink and that's pretty visible at night so that comes very handy uh, the seat is very comfortable as I was saying earlier and it is adjustable you just loosen up the slatch with your hand and it goes up and down and the frame uh, the frame of the bike is very nice and let me show you how this folds down let me show you the other side the, this mud guard uh, the mud, the back and the front mud guard they come very handy because I have been on this bike on sort of muddy days sort of rainy days not not many but I have, I have had this bike for about almost 90 days now and I absolutely love it. These are the 14 inch uh, pneumatic uh, tires and they are three inches wide. Um, this is your average chain. And yeah, the, the bike seat is very comfortable. The, ri the ride is pretty good. I like it. I've gotten a lot of compliments. It's funny that I've seen other Jetson uh, riders out on the road and at the beach and at the park. And they're like, wow, nice ride. I was like, hey, you guys have a Jetson too. So that's uh, that, that was funny. But it's funny. I had the nicer this is the nicer size of the Jetson, um, or the nicer trim, or I should say the nicer style of the Jetson e-bikes. So because there's cheaper models, but I definitely recommend this one. So yeah, so the way this folds, and this e-bike does fold in half. So if you release, you don't need any special tools. This is one other big reason why I love this bike. So if you loosen this up, the handlebar does go down, all the way down. So now you can go ahead and store it. Uh, in your trunk or in the back of your car or if you have an SUV or if you have a pickup truck 
pretty much any car it fits in my four-door sedan in the trunk perfectly i'll show you guys here in a minute but you can see what the how the steering wheel is now adjusted when you loosen that latch and the seat comes off i'll show you guys here in a minute how this fits inside my trunk perfectly so the battery you're probably wondering what kind of battery this has this has a lithium ion battery it's an eight amp hour battery capacity and the range on this is a, a maximum of 15 miles distance per charge and the speed it does go up to 15 and a half miles per hour that's the maximum speed you can uh you can get up to and but it's it's a nice ride for a beginner uh friendly e-bike i i highly recommend this and you guys know jetson has been around for a while now for so many years so they're known they have a good reputation made for making quality e-bikes and you're riding with peace of mind as, as they say because I'm, many times i've been on rides more than 10 miles i take my charger with me anyways but this this has definitely held up to its name after 90 days so uh, it takes about five to six hours give or take if the battery is completely depleted but i haven't really reached that point i mean i have taken it to the beach and i've taken it to different parks i've actually taken it to to multiple beaches in different parks and around the house and i've had a lot of fun with this it's comfortable it's safe it's got bright headlight bright brake light so let me go ahead and show you right now how well this fits in the trunk of my four-door sedan which is kind of hard to believe because many people are like you don't have an e-bike i'm like yes i do it's in the back of my trunk all right so here we are i went ahead and folded the handlebar like i showed you earlier the handlebar completely folds down down to the front tire and you just have to take off the seat by loosening this uh this lever right here and here we are this bike fits perfectly side to side and actually have you have to excuse the mess i have some uh some stuff for the car and whatnot but you can see my trunk is big enough in a four-door sedan and this is a 2018 camry by the way and this bike fits perfectly i believe it weighs i think the bike weighs weighs uh, right around 49 pounds or 48 and a half pounds so it's really not too bad but it's a nice built rugged i think this is a carbon steel uh metal right here i think it's carbon steel is what i said in the manual but it's it's you know jetson has truly built a nice portable heavy duty e-bike with 14 inch tires that are three inches wide so if it fits in my trunk and this is a four-door sedan it's not an suv it's not a pickup truck so i can i would assume it fits in many other different sedans in the trunk or maybe even in the back seat but i prefer in the trunk that way it's less just in case your tires got mud on them or dirty or whatnot so yeah if it fits great and and the trunk and i take this everywhere i take it to the beach i take it to parks i've been fishing i take this e-bike stays in my car 24 7 believe it or not all right guys so in conclusion here you can see me going i went to several different parks and several different beaches i've been on multiple trails you can see here i'm riding this the jetson atlas e-bike i'm riding it with no problem on grass on some gravel and, and on, on a want i tend to go on a lot of dirt areas and, and unpaved areas as well as paved trails and i have had no issues honestly because this has the fat tires that are three inches wide which is a big deal because I have spoken to other e-bike riders that have a standard uh, e-bike uh, wheels and they say they tend to struggle on dirt and whatnot but when because this e-bike because the Jetson Atlas has a three inch fat tire that makes a big deal especially when you turn or you hit maybe some small potholes and whatnot or maybe some creases um, so it's really no issue and then going up if you go uphill if you go at a if you go at a steep uphill it does struggle so you do need to struggle because this is this is a 350 watt motor it's not the weakest but it's also not the strongest and as you guys know there's also the motors they get bigger and bigger they go up to like a thousand watts last i checked so this has a, a 350 watt motor hub in the, in the back and yeah i've had a lot of fun i've been this trail that you're watching right now this trail is approximately uh, eight and a half maybe nine miles long and I was able to do this trail almost two different times. One one time by myself and the second time with my best friend. And we had a blast. And he even he even uh, uh, used, the, used the Jetson Atlas e-bike as well. And he said, this, this e-bike is addicting. I said, yeah, I know. You got to get you one. So he's thinking about it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this e-bike is a lot of fun. And I think the weight limit on this, from what I've seen on the, on the box, I think it's at either 200 pounds or 220 pounds. So if you are under 220 pounds, you should have no problem. I myself weigh around, I weigh around 180 pounds and I am 5'8 uh, tall. So uh, yeah, I have had no issues and no complaints. Everything works great. The brakes, the lights, 
Um, the seat is surprisingly comfortable, and especially that I have the uh, that that the seat has dual springs on the bottom, and uh, it's nice to have an e-bike that. Uh, I mean, honestly, I I barely call me lazy, but I barely I barely pedal. Even though this e-bike does come with built-in pedal assist, and that is going to assist you when you pedal, it's much easier than pedaling like a regular bike that doesn't have a battery built-in. So pedal assist does come handy if you want to use it, if you want to some, if you want to burn some calories and whatnot, and get get some exercise, which I sometimes did, but I barely did that. But honestly. I think I got about 12 to 13 miles, give or take, with a full, full throttle, you know, flooring it all the way down because this has the twist throttle type to to get you going. And I had a lot, and honestly, I had a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun, and, and a lot of uh, I had a blast with this e-bike, honestly, because this is my first e-bike, and I'm very happy with it, and I'm and I'm very happy that it's made by a well-known company, Jetson, that has been around in the e-bike industry for a long time. Last I checked. It's not like they were they just opened up shop last year or something. They've been around and they make multiple different e-bikes as well, different sizes from 12 inches and I believe all the way up to 26 inch e-bikes. But the the fact that I the reason the the biggest reason why I like this size of e-bike because it's got 14 inch tires. And here towards the end of the video, you're gonna see my cousin riding this e-bike uh, in pitch black outside. And please ignore. You can see how bright the brake light is and the headlight, but the blue light on the bottom, I add, I added that light bar myself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you guys found any benefits in this review and unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Share this video out with your friends and family. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. That would really make a whole difference. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means it's a very big deal to me. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.